Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid, and today we're talking about something a little bit different. We're talking about Wi-Fi, specifically Wi-Fi 6, to see if this new protocol can actually be used to fix the issues that I've been having in my specific setup. As we all know, Wi-Fi is the best option when you're connecting to the internet at home because it's faster and more reliable than a cellular connection. But honestly, you have to be close to your Wi-Fi router in order to get those benefits. For me, that's definitely not happening. The office that you're looking at right here is up in the attic of my house, a good three floors above the router that's down on the first floor tucked away behind a couch. Now, of course, the best solution for me would be to wire up my entire house, run a cable up the stairs and into the office here. But let's be honest, that's definitely not gonna happen because I do want my wife to be happy with me. So Wi-Fi is really the only option I have here. The issue I have is that I have one gigabit internet speeds thanks to AT&T, but once I get the router signal all the way up to the office, those speeds drop down significantly, about 20% of what the original speeds are if you're sitting in the living room itself. So we're gonna see if Wi-Fi 6, and specifically a mesh network with Wi-Fi 6, can fix that issue. But before that, let's talk about our sponsor. If you're looking to keep your connection to the web secure, NordVPN is the way to go. Privacy on the web has become harder and harder these days, but with a VPN, that's a virtual private network, you can secure and encrypt your internet traffic that's routed through a private remote server so that your service provider or anyone else who might be trying to snoop on you simply can't. If you travel a lot or just frequently connect to public Wi-Fi networks, NordVPN is a must have to ensure that your internet connection and your data are always secure. For this sponsorship, NordVPN is offering 81% off with an extra four months of free service when you sign up for their three-year plan, while also throwing in free access to their NordPass password manager. To get this amazing deal, all you have to do is enter the code FANDROID at checkout. Be sure to check out the details in the video description below. What you're looking at here is one of the two Wi-Fi 6 routers that I'm going to be using in order to hopefully fix the Wi-Fi issues I've been having. It's the ASUS AI Mesh AX6100. This first router is going to be up here in my office next to my computer, while the other one's going to be downstairs right next to the, the fiber modem. But let's do a speed test here to see what the AT&T router delivers as far as speeds go up here to the office up in the attic. As you can see, these are pretty quick compared to most people's Wi-Fi internet speeds. Uh, unfortunately, I do have gigabit internet, so I should be getting a lot faster speeds than that. Downloads typically up here range between about 150 and 80 megabits per second, while uploads can range between 30 all the way up to 90 megabits per second. As you can see, the router is right down here in the living room, of course, crammed right behind the couch where most people have their routers these days. But as you can see here, the speeds down here on the first floor are significantly better than what I was getting upstairs in the office. I'm gonna typically hit about 400 to 450 megabit per second download speeds and probably over 500 megabit per second uploads once we get there in a second. As you can see, it is extremely fast down here. So this is where the new ASUS AI Mesh Wi-Fi system is gonna come into play. This is the AX6100, and it comes with two of these identical routers which broadcast over Wi-Fi 6 in between each other and also two devices as well. Now to be clear, none of the smartphones or the laptops that I have are actually Wi-Fi 6 compatible, but because this broadcast between those two routers once the signal reaches all the way upstairs at a much faster speed, it should be able to rebroadcast that over Wi-Fi 6 and also Wi-Fi 5 to my older devices so that I can take advantage of that extra speed. So I'm gonna plug this in and stick it behind the couch just like the other router and see what results we're gonna get. So let's get this plugged in and once it boots up, we're gonna do a speed test down here to see what the maximum speeds are gonna be that we can expect out of this router before going upstairs and doing it all over again. way down there. 
So here we go, here is the ASUS Wi-Fi router. We're gonna switch over to that. We are connected. And now let's see a speed test to see what we're looking at for maximum speeds down here in the living room. And that's about roughly what we were getting from the AT&T router. We typically get about 450 to 500 megabit per second download speeds. And then for upload speeds, we should see the same or slightly faster. Okay, so I am back up in the office now. Before we plug in that secondary Wi-Fi router to create that mesh Wi-Fi system, let's run that speed test one more time, simply connecting to the single Wi-Fi router that's downstairs from ASUS to see how it manages pushing the Wi-Fi network all the way up here to the attic. Okay, so confirming that we're still connected to the right network there, let's jump into a speed test to see what the results are gonna be. Definitely not that impressed with what this is looking like just with the one router plugged in. Averaging about 25 for downloads. Kind of disappointed there. Upload speeds are a lot faster though for that split second. But yeah, on its own, this Wi-Fi router downstairs really doesn't do much for improving the speeds. It's actually a little bit slower than what I was getting with the AT&T router. So let's plug in the secondary router that we have right over here and get this set up. As you can see, all of the lights on the front of the router are lit up, so we should be set to go. But first, let's ensure that we are on or connected to the right router, this one here is the one in the office. This one here is the one downstairs. So we're set for the mesh system. Let's do a speed test to see what the results are gonna be. Oh my gosh, 380, 90, can it hit 400? Very close for download speeds. That is significantly better than what we were seeing before. And for upload speeds, 336. Let's run that one more time. That is a significant improvement. Typically we were seeing about between 150 and 90 megabit per second download speeds with the single router. And this is significantly faster than what we were getting before over 420 megabit per second downloads and 345. And just for fun, let's do a speed test on our laptop as well, connected over Wi-Fi to the mesh system. A little bit slow to start here, a ping of four, 350, Pretty close to what we we're seeing on the smartphone. Yeah, definitely reaching 400 megabits per second, 420, 427 final result, and then uploads, incredible, over 400 megabits per second. And this is definitely gonna make a huge difference in my daily workflows, especially for uploading videos from the office. Well, I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with this router system. Again, this is the ASUS AI Mesh AX6100, and it's definitely a mouthful, so make sure you check out the link in the description below if you wanna check that out. But the results here really speak for themselves. I've tested other mesh Wi-Fi systems in order to try to fix the Wi-Fi issues that I've been having up here in my office, but they only allowed for about a 15 to 20% boost over the single AT&T router that I was using downstairs. With this system though, because the routers themselves are communicating over Wi-Fi 6, the backhaul between them is much faster, which means they can rebroadcast the Wi-Fi up here in the office at a much faster speed. So if you have a similar setup in your house or your office where you're trying to maximize the speeds for Wi-Fi from one side of the property to the other, you definitely want to check out a mesh Wi-Fi system that's using the Wi-Fi 6 protocol. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We've got more smartphone and also Wi-Fi videos coming up in the near future. Thanks again, and we'll catch you in the next one.